The price for a video game was fixed at $60 for the last couple decades, only recently some publishers started to increase the price to $70. And it's understandable, there are many reasons to up the price of a game, like development cost or simply inflation. $60 at the beginning of the century is not the same as $60 today. Yet some publishers decided that it's not enough to increase the price by mere 10 bucks. After all, Bobby Kotick should be able to afford another car. It would also prevent big executives from laying off their employees, right? Anyway, companies want more money. So while they can't simply increase the price to, let's say, $100, they come up with some ideas on how to get more money from the player base. The most obvious idea is to introduce microtransactions into the game. Loot boxes or battle passes bring millions in profit, but that only works for service-type games. So what to do if the game is a single player? Of course you can add microtransactions as well, but they would be basically paid cheats and not many players would be willing to spend money on it. Over the years many different approaches were used. For example, some publishers may release DLC at launch, separate from the original game, I don't have anything against DLCs or expansion packs in general when they are created after the original game is completed. If DLC is available at launch, this is not an additional content, it's a part of the original game that was ripped out to sell it as a separate add-on to the product. The most popular cost increasing approach is the so-called Deluxe Edition. Usually they include some sort of cosmetic items or they make items that you can get later in the game available from the start. They may also add some digital art books or soundtracks and sometimes above-mentioned DLCs. But that wasn't enough to convince players that it's worth the cost. And here comes several questions. How to force players to buy a game for a higher price? What do you need to add to the deluxe version so players would pre-order the game and specifically the deluxe edition? How to achieve it without doing anything at all? Not the Steam Early Access program, which I consider to be a great thing as it helps indie developers to get additional funds during the development process, gain feedback from the player base and perform additional testing. No, I am of course talking about the bonus for pre-ordering deluxe editions that allows you to play the game several days before the official release date. And for a moment, Let's talk about the definition of a video game release. Release is a moment when a game is 1. Finished, so it wouldn't be confused with some beta tests, and 2. Available for purchase for everyone. In that sense, we can conclude that the game is actually already released at the moment of this so-called early access. It's a finished product and anyone can buy it, though for a higher price. So, Starfield's release date is not September 6th, as all promo materials are stating. No, it's actually August 31st or September 1st, depending on your time zone. Because at this moment you can already play the completed version of the game. All you need to do is to buy it. So, in essence of a definition, this scheme can actually be called not early, but delayed access for everyone who is unwilling to purchase the game for a higher price. Now, I can't say for sure what companies started doing it, but the one that popularized it and dragged everyone else into this scheme is of course the root of all evil in the gaming industry, EA. When they launched a premium tier of their subscription service, one of the main features was the ability to play new titles days before the official release. But of course not all companies have their own subscription service and the easier way to implement this early access is to just add it to a deluxe version. And from the marketing standpoint I must admit that this is simply genius. You do absolutely nothing, you waste close to zero resources and get a massive profit. And it works, people buy it, but why, really? 
Why can't people just wait another 5 days to play the game? Well, there are two main reasons and they are interlinked. First one is why would you wait another 5 days when you've already waited possibly years for the game to come out if all you need to do is to spend 10 more dollars or 30 more dollars. Okay, this one actually contains future DLC, but if you're ready to purchase DLC that will come out who knows when for a game that you haven't even played, well, I don't have much to say about it. And the second reason is something that game publishers just love to parasitize at. Fear of missing out, or FOMO for short. People love to be the first and hate to be left behind. We want to be a part of something, not reading about how it felt for someone else. We want to experience the game ourselves, have our own thoughts and emotions and not read someone else's on Reddit or IGN. And some of you may remember this feeling when some game or a movie comes out, but you can't play or watch it yourself for several days for any reason and you need to avoid spoilers and surf through the web very very carefully and chances are that you will still get spoiled. It's just how the internet and social media works. So if you're not willing to pay a hundred dollars for a game, well, you'll have to wait because this game features early access. And finally, one amazing thing about all that, even though it's only applicable to PC gaming, at least now, is piracy. If the game doesn't have proper anti-piracy protection, you've guessed it right, it will be available on torrents shortly after it would drop on early access, and anyone who's willing to download the game illegally can play it before people who purchased the game for a full price. Though I'm not sure that in this situation it's fair to say full price as it would be better be named a discounted version with delayed access. And that's all for this video, let me know what you think about this early access practice in a comment section. If you've enjoyed this video please consider subscribing to the channel and as always thank you for watching and have a great day.